You're inside the coffee cup with the Inglewood City Girls. I am Coffee Mia Moore. I'm TT. I'm Danielle. And our special guest is Spanky Hayes, bitch. Hey. <laughs> I wanted to cut and start off with a yeah. couple. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, Spanky is an Aquarius gang yes. gang. Gang, 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 we on planet Earth. No, I'm from Detroit, from and I grew up in New York, and then, but I graduated from Fairfax High School. Oh, so. did you? Oh, so you've been so around. So, West side. Wait, yeah. so you really can't pick a side. Yeah. Really. <laughs> you really can't, because how the hell that happened? I know, just, I'm like an army brat, but I yeah. ain't in the military. Right. Just so really, how that happened? I don't know, poverty. <laughs> Well, y'all yeah. wasn't that damn poor because y'all was getting from state to state. Well, and then you I went mean, to from New York to LA, like right. two expensive mm -hmm. places. Right. To live, she so. was getting how she so, lived. Yeah. Five days in the, in the Greyhound. Do you have um, siblings? Uh, no, I make a, I, I pick siblings as I grow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm the you, only child, so but I got a oh. lot of family. Outside of my mama. Oh you know. my god! Oh, lucky you get to pick and choose who yeah, your brothers and sisters are. Well, you know. That's, <laughs> so this that's is the only child from both parents, because you know how black families are, right? Right. right. Yeah. You got? Are you on both sides of the fence? The only child. Uh, well, my daddy is Cuban, <laughs> so uh, I don't know what the hell how many kids he got. Oh, okay. But I'm probably the only American one. Oh. <laughs> I guess, I guess. So, but yeah, but my mom, <laughs> she ain't have no more kids. Mm. So, you know. Do you have? Do you know um, any? What is that? Spanish? Uh, Paquito. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you only know that in in, a, in other form besides <laughs> the one I know it in. Oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Because right. Paquito, the way I know it, I don't. I hope it's not the way you no, know. No, no, oh, okay. no. Okay. No, man. Okay, you're not no, Paquito, you Jaginto. Jaginto. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, 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 like a uh, air can spray. And it's very negro. You, you ever seen one of them air can sprays? Yeah. That, that's how my shit looks. Hush oh, okay. it up. I just want. I just want to throw that. Put out that out there. there. Yes. Uh, Let the ladies okay. know. Well, you, know, you yeah. graduated from Fairfax. Yes. And I mean, I'm not gonna ask you the year, but please don't. Was it like? <laughs> <laughs> please don't. <laughs> but um, what happened? after that like well I came okay so now that was my LA thing that's funny me and my cousin was just talking about this mm -hmm. the first day I moved to LA was in 96 September 3rd 1996 something like that mm -hmm. and I seen Tupac and the, the motherfucker died like two days after yeah, that yeah no oh no yeah. like and I had just came from New York and I'm hearing them you know, fuck New York and fuck this and fuck right. that. So I'm like, damn, but I wanted to ask him, man, why you why you hate New York so much? <laughs> so, you know, I had a New York hat on when I seen the nigga and everything. So I was like, yo, what's oh, you up? You were trying man? to get socked out. I know. Listen. You were trying I, to get I, socked I, out. I didn't I didn't know. And so then, how was he though? Like low key on a on a on a side note. At first he was like, I guess I was just like any other fan. Yeah. And then I was like, Yeah, man, I'm from Detroit, man. I just I just got off the airplane, nigga. And, and imagine that. I'd see you as soon as I get here. Right. And I think that kind of made her open up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, nigga, y'all got to stop fighting, man. I Aww. ran to some rant. Yeah. And I think he was listening to me. And uh, I, I I said this before, that I'm probably probably one of the last people to say anything positive to Tupac. Because the nigga died, like, right yeah, after that. What yeah. did you say? I was stop just fighting. like, stop fighting, yeah, man. Fighting. Yeah. You and Biggie need to do an album or something. Right, Nigga, right, what the fuck is y'all fighting right, for? Right, for da, real, da, da, da. that would have been, so, been so dope. Yeah, but that was a crazy situation. And then I met Nick, uh, Nick Cannon. And how okay. I met him was we was uh, both two young comedians and we couldn't be in the club. Mm. So they would make us go to the kitchen yeah. until it was our time to go on stage. And then we just oh, kind of wow. made a pact. What like, if I make it, you make it. Wow. Comedy clubs. You know, if Around it's a comedy city. club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like San Diego mostly at that okay, time. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so they wouldn't let us where the drinks were. But we would, we had to stay like in the kitchen or in the back or some some bullshit. So Nick Cannon was a, a comedian. Yeah, first he, he was a rapper. All right, I'm yeah. like, wait, because I don't think how Nick Cannon is he? that funny. I think everybody else is kind of funny around right. him and makes him funny. Right. 
They I couldn't we, even see we just him trying throw, to do a joke. We throw on stuff that would make them funny. Okay. Like, yeah. Most answers are funny. You know. Yeah. Right? So we keep throwing you the answer. That, you know, the right. question you just you know answer. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just answer. So what? Okay. So what age were you when you got into comedy? I was like 18. The first time I ever tried to do comedy. Well, I was like, I was like younger in high school. I would always talk in school, and they would be like, "Look, at the end of the school, 50 last 10 minutes, you can come up here, Carlos, and talk." And so, because you talk I all day. I love the fact that your name is Carlos. Carlos yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. I mean, it's such it's a cliche. cliche. It's I mean, crazy. not not a cliche. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom, she <laughs> said you a cliche. <laughs> Wow. Because your dad is Cuban, your name is Carlos, but if I just looked at you, because you... You would call me Leroy. Absolutely. <laughs> That's crazy. Jerome. Jerome Jackson. Jerome. Wow. <laughs> Jerome. Well, like, me bump my shirt up. She <laughs> called me Jerome. Jerome. In a house. In a So no, you did My real name is Carlito. 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 I you are lying to me. me Carlos. Yeah. yeah. Your real name is Carlito? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, it's kind of sexy. Yes, it Thank is. You, you. should, like, you you should change your name to Carlito. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Yeah. Not from that view. <laughs> okay. All right, not from that view. All right, I'm just saying. So what? Um, so I was intrigued by the name Spanky because again, I like the little rascal. Right. I I really wondered when I heard your name Spanky. I'm like, why did he name himself Spanky? Was it anything to do with the little rascal? Yeah, my mother. Uh, she said when she was pregnant, she used to watch reruns all the time. Uh-huh. And she was like, Spanky, Spanky, Alfalfa or Spanky. And mm-hmm. then she was like, but once she was like two, it made sense because mm-hmm. I used to beat your ass every day. <laughs> so spanky spanky, is dope. I used to give you spankings so, yeah, every yeah, day. Yeah. So yeah. Spanky did, is dope. Yeah, so Spanky. That's how yeah. you did that. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Carlito. Carlito. So you let people call you Carlito? No. Uh, only if you know me. I know you. Can I so, call you right? Like, like most people, yeah, sure. <laughs> no. Most people who call me Carlito is people who went to school with me. Okay. Like, they, they really know they who know I who You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you ain't spanky. You Carlito Hayes. Nigga, I know Carlito. you. Carlito. Did you <laughs> like that name, though? I hated it. That's <laughs> right. No, I know you had to be clown. I, I mean, I really do it. have a Cuban Carlito Hayes. Like, right. even Hayes, that's a Hispanic like, yeah. really? last name. Really? And then yeah. remember when that movie, old school movie, Carlito's Way? Yeah. Came? Uh-huh. Nigga. You couldn't escape it. <laughs> Every day. Hey, Carlito's way. They go Carlito's way. Carlito's way. You know how kids like, are. Kids God. are hella. Yes. Like, yeah, they kids are me. hella crew. It's like, uh, you know, I was called an African booty scratcher recently. Did, is it, that that kind you know what? I wanted to laugh so bad. <laughs> That's uh, what African booty scratcher. I call the African booty scratcher. Um, when you hear that, what's, you know the first thing that came to my mind when I heard that? No, Michael Blackson. Michael Blackson. Michael, Michael Blackson looked like an African, African booty, booty scratcher. Oh, yes. oh my goodness. You, Michael, know, you um, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> African but she don't look like Michael scratcher. Blackson. Not at all. Oh, no, shit. no right. she don't. I'm just saying, as soon as you said that, you that's the first that. thing that came to my mind. Yeah, some girl hit me up about a dude and told me that I look like an African booty scratcher. So she wow. didn't understand. Like I'm like, where are we? And I'm saying that to say kids are cruel. Yeah. Like that's something a 30 year old don't say. That's something no. the yeah. three year old says. You or know, back in the day, old. right? Back or in the a day, 60 year old who said it a million times. You know? right. yeah. That's like saying yeah. your mama. Like didn't, didn't yeah. we evolve from African booty scratching? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Everybody get more their creative. Ass. Like right. why just African? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god. Right. So anyway, Africans so, yeah. got bigger asses. That's why. Well, you know, I need Let's to. go. You better give it to her. Mm-hmm. So listen, you became Spanky. Right. Mm-hmm. You you named yourself Spanky. No, my mother. Your did. mom. That, after your mom. So just when I learned my name was Carlos or Carlito, Spanky was my name too. Mm-hmm. So it's like my grandma would call me that, my grandfather, everybody. But sitting that. here with your energy, I actually like that name for you. Yeah. Thank you. Like you know, it, again, it was interesting to find out why you picked Spanky only because I like little rascals. You was thinking of some freaky shit. That's you know what? Ow. 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 I was not thinking about nothing freaky. I literally thought of the little rascals okay. because Spanky is. On the little rascals, he is the beast. You know the what I'm beast. saying? He is the man. You know, your the fly little, is open. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the little boss. That's what yeah, he is. Yeah, he's the, the boss. boss. He's yes. like, get, to, get it together. You don't be like an old woman. You right. know what right. I'm saying? He's woman hating club. Exactly. I'm not in that. But, right. Right. <laughs> but yeah, so you're not in a woman hating club, but no. you recently got married. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. I have a question for you, though. Mm-hmm. How long you was with your um, wife? I was with her about... 
six years. Probably about six years. What ago makes married. a man take six years to marry? Oh, you know what? That's a that's a good question. I don't know because she like she like my friend too. So like, okay, it's like a difference between having a relationship and you're not friends with your girlfriend because then everything is more precise. It's like you got to do this or this deadline. Absolutely. But, Speak your shit. Right. But then when you're friends with them, hmm. it's more loose. Man, like, okay. so, I just so, had so this conversation. So like I would ask her a couple, like, and to be honest, I asked her like three or four times before we got married. She said no. She was I like, was going to ask what? you that. Like how did she feel about waiting? Oh, so no. she was saying no. She was like, no, we... But I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. Hey, like, like, just I like wait. her. She was like, just wait. Just let's wait till we can what sign is do she? something. Uh, a Leo. Hey, it's working. Yes. Ooh. And see, okay. I was told that I don't know. <laughs> <Damn. Not wow. laughs> <laughs> so that wow. is that's why you waited for six years. Be, yeah, because she we wasn't in a rush and we and then we was like we never thought that we would break up or nothing. It right. was just like, you know, well, why do that? I don't want to invite my mama. I don't right. want to do this. I don't want to do that. So, But talk your shit about that whole friend thing. Yeah, you got to yeah. be, be friends. You got to be friends. Yeah. And that's, that when, that's what happens when all the lying and bickering comes in. Oh, it's like man. you betrayed our friendship. Right. Mm -hmm. You didn't. It's not like we was on some girlfriend and boyfriend shit. We really didn't know each other's background. Exactly. You're fucking up our friendship, exactly. and that's what really hurt. Exactly. Yeah. Do you feel like it was easier them. to communicate because you guys were friends? Yeah. Because I could say your breath stank. Uh, I never said that, but I'm just saying in general. Like, just well, being open. Or I, better, I could say, take that outfit off. Like, mm -hmm. put that on. Mm -hmm. Like, or put this on. Don't put that on. Oh, like, yeah. no. like, we like, you know, we just like one. So we didn't really feel the need to, and then we had kids. Mm. And then that's oh, when we was like, children. you know what? I got to, my daughter's got to see me marry you. Because yes. if we ever break up or anything. They need to understand. They gotta the understand who their dad family. was. And yes, what you did first, not just well, fucking there. everybody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You you committed. Like little girls is very man. I got two, two and four. Mm. They're babies. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, and they see everything. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. So it's like we gotta love each other in front of them. Like so we can't always argue. It? I'm sorry. How hard no, was sorry. it to commit in a relationship as a comedian? For six years, because you know I know what? Hollywood pussy is popping. It, I'm trying to tell you. I was uh, in Vegas when I first met her, and I was like, she didn't have a phone. She had, she was going through some shit, too, with her mom. So I was like, you don't got a phone. And I was like, here, take my phone, and I'm going to buy you a phone tomorrow, and I'm going to call you from the number. Mm. And she was like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> She was like, I yeah, you a star nigga for real. Yeah, that's like, that aggressive. Yeah. Nobody that's ever that said aggressive that to me. Um, Aquarius. Y'all <laughs> yeah. some aggressive ass. You see how he took over that situation? Aggressive. Like, hey, boom. But, 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 uh, but again, yes. what you do now. Uh, Aquarius is know what we want. That's it. Yeah, you guys do. And then as soon as I saw her, I was like, I'm going to get you pregnant. That's it. I, I don't swear. think my daddy wanted me. And then oh, when he, he got me. Like your mama, he said, when I'm going to get you pregnant. I swear to God. But when he got me, I guess he knew what he wanted. So I don't know if that's a true statement, that they know what they want. Know what, they want. what are you talking about over there? I'm <laughs> <laughs> just saying that's not true because I don't think. Okay, okay. Well, spanky, no. for Spanky, that's for Spanky, true. that's true. That's, that's his. That ha that's how it happened for me, and yeah. I had like 39 bitches at the time. Oh shit, 39 like, girls. Yeah, are you playing like, with me? And I was like, look, I got you know, I got girlfriends, I got this, I got that, but what give me like three you do months. With 39 women? Okay, and you, I'll come back. How did can you, you tell her this? Though? Please, 39 from the women. beginning because I liked her so much. From see, the, but see, from the, the beginning, first he sight. said he wanted to get her pregnant. Now he wanted to marry her. Right. I want to get okay, her pregnant. but he's being but honest. I, but I knew I wanted to be around her. Like, okay, like it was just something about her, and I was like, wow. And I even told her, like most niggas, this one I knew I was in love with her. Like I told her about the other girls. Yeah, I was like, we look, just had uh, this conversation. I got a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. Yes. Right now, you'll just be 39, 30, 40. 40. Oh, shit. Why don't you just give me a little time? I get rid of these stupid ass bills. They ain't nothing anyway but bills. So yeah. mm -hmm. get, I'm going to get rid of them and I'm going to come back for you. And y'all build a friendship within yeah. all of that. And right. I, we yeah. literally just had a, right. a podcast about men versus Negroes. Like men... You can just tell the truth. She'll still be there. She'll wait. Right. She'll yeah. whatever. Like you really don't have to lie to get some of JJ. Look, but dudes, are, okay, but then that's the category. So a dude to tell you the truth if he feel like, okay, I want to fuck with her. Mm -hmm. So I just tell her everything. But versus, I want to, I want to fuck her. I ain't gonna tell her shit. Mm. That's two different categories. So if you being lied to, you're just a. Basically, that's literally what I put up on my. Listen. Um, 
Basically. podcast. So let's go the back truth, to they just wanna fuck exactly. You. That's all. So let's go back to Nick. You say you met Nick, right? I was reading or heard somewhere that you um, brought wilding out to him like the concept with yeah. the, with these four men. Yeah. Can you tell us who these four men were? How you make them and. Well, okay, so I was in a group called The Other Level. We was an uh, improv group. This mm-hmm. is around 2005-ish, mm-hmm. 2003 to 5-ish, whatever. All from Detroit, Howie Bell, uh, and all of these guys are comedians. Howie Bell, Joe Blunt, and Thomas Ward, mm-hmm. and myself. And uh, Tony Roberts, if y'all know who Tony Roberts is. Tony Roberts got kind of big now. Uh, I think I've heard that name. Yeah. I've heard the name. And he's an Aries. That's how I know y'all stubborn. That's my Aries rule the world. Uh, uh, Aquarius. <laughs> No. Okay, gang, let's just gang, say A A A. Okay, hey, I go with the A's. I go with the A's. You better stick with your wife's son. You get to know you gotta go home to. But he got your back wife first. He an A first. Okay. But so we we did that. We got a deal with Will Smith. It didn't really go like we wanted to. Plus, we was all young. We was probably getting fucked over anyway. And so a couple years went by, and I ran into Nick again. Like, hey, bro, I think I got something. And he kind of took it and said, came back to me and said, I took your idea, but here goes some money and I'll give you a job. You lying to me. No. He literally said that, yo, I, I took, took your, your idea. idea. I'm going to tell you when he told me this, when he was doing, uh, what's that movie with Lil Bow Wow and they were skating? Uh, Roll Bounce. Bounce. Roll Bounce. <laughs> they were doing Roll Bounce in Chicago and I was doing a show out there and I went to the set and he was like, look at this. He had already did it. Damn. And I was like, huh? Not only did he steal it, but it had already been executed. He already did it. And he was like, but look, I'm going to give you this check, and you on the show. But what we about this? Was, a month. This was your, you and these other gentlemen's idea. Yes. Okay. Correct. How you let that fly? Uh, and show bit in Hollywood, it's about who gets the deal. You was hungry. And I was hungry. Hear that Aquarius talking right there? Did he have the money to do this? Like, what made Hell him capable yeah. to do this? I mean, let me tell you a you. real Nick Cannon story. Mm-hmm. So, this I can't remember the year, but we we kicking it hard. I'm about to do this movie. You telling me I'm about to do this movie? I'm about to. Okay, so look, I'm teaching him how to cry. Like, like, dog, just cry, just start crying, just cry like that. And like, he was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Do you know it. how to cry like that? I used to. I haven't, tr- I haven't <laughs> did it in so long. I would not believe you if I, I was I could, a woman. I have, hold on, wait. Don't do it. Okay, I can't do it. I need to see this. I can't do it. I try. I try to do it. You can. can. But I'm trying to teach him how to like be emotionless and just cry. Mm -hmm. So for the scene that he was doing, man, I can't cry, man. I can't cry. I'm like, just think about weird shit and da da. Anyway, so about two days after that, I go back to Detroit and get in some trouble. Go to jail for about ninety days. Sucks. As soon as I get out of jail, I get and look outside. It's a big ass poster that say Drumline with Nick Cannon, Damn. big oh, ass shit. face on it. I was like, I'm rich. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. So I called the Greyhound back to this motherfucker to find Nick. Mm. It took me like two weeks to find him. I'm talking about I'm stalking this nigga. Hey, that. Finally see him at the bank of all places. He gave me some more money. Here, dog. Thank you. So, so. I'm saying all this to say Nick Cannon is a real motherfucker. Like, like, situations make you fake, but your personality and your person, that's why you got to be you all the time, and that's what lets people and people you love get away with bullshit. Mm -hmm. But are you Aquarius and I in the situation? Because I don't think that's really still somebody ideal executed and then pay them off. No, I didn't say I like it. I'm just saying that's just what what it is. Right. So, you know, after... At least he paid his dues for stealing. And that's all I can well, say. Well, that's not a due. You owed some percentage. Right. And I had to take care of three other people. Right. Yeah. That was my next question. Yeah, because I had to let them all stay with me. Yeah. Because they now they're in Hollywood just scrambling. Like, we all... So why doing. weren't they offered a job? Yeah. I, you know, I couldn't tell you that. I could not tell you that. I, I, pre- I prayed about it over and over. I used to bring them to the set and... I don't know. I just think maybe Nick thought that we was going to take, take it over. Because that was our idea. Shit. Yeah. yeah. So it, he didn't. None of the other three ever was on Wild Enough. Wow. Still today. Are you Did guys they come out here to do that? No, we came out here to do our thing. Okay, it was separately. the other level, yeah. Okay. So we would do skits. We would rap at the end. Exactly how Wild and Out is, that's what that's we what would do. That's what you guys did. But it was just before, like us for it. Yeah. Wow. And then he took it and put 20 motherfuckers. 
Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, God bless him, though. I ain't tripping. He ain't gave me Aston Martins and Bentleys before. All kind of, oh, this, this is like my brother. And they kind of my brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how I feel about him personally, I would never say that out like that. But we brothers. We fight well, like brother, brothers. Right, right, we right, fight right. like brothers. Brothers you know go through saying? shit, yeah. Like, we could be arguing, but if you say something while we arguing, then we're going to attack your Right, ass. yeah. So it's like, So whatever. he's really a cool person in Yeah, in, hell in, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. He's just been rich since he was 17. Like, yeah. he don't know how to... Look, one time I was like, Nick, I need man, I need some money, man. I, my rent due, man. I ain't pay my rent in like two months. His answer was, why you ain't pay your rent? I was like, nigga. I don't got no rent. It takes money. <laughs> He was like, well, why you ain't got the money? Oh, he don't understand. Yeah. It's all Hollywood. Can you just give me some money, nigga? Yeah. Right. And just, I don't want to talk no more. Just give me some money. <laughs> just time, give me some money. <laughs> he gave me some money. I get in the car. I drive off. I listen to the radio. And they say, happy birthday, Nick Cannon. I had to go back around. And I had to look at how much he gave me. And then I was like, nigga, you just gave me some money on your, your birthday. birthday. Wow. Yeah. He has a wow. That's a Libra. I said, okay. Is he a Libra? Yeah, Libra. Said, okay. Oh, that's well, why you guys are really like good. Libras yeah. are cool people. Yeah. I stop. So, you know, a lot of people can say a lot about him, but to me, he I is, love he's a Libra. Family. Yeah, he's family. Yeah. yeah. So, I love him anyway. So, do you still feel like, as far as Wild and Out is concerned, because you were on there, you paid your dues? I'm you still on there. You still are on you? Wild and Out? I'm on this season right now. Oh, shut yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. But I had to go back. Yeah. You know, you making more money? Bring me back. So you are yes. going to make more money than from the past you've talked about walking away from. Yes, I wouldn't do it unless if I If it was. wasn't yeah. right. Good job. That's and that's right that he brought you rich all day. I can't yes. be not rich doing the same job. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Yeah. That's yeah, super dope. You. So are we, so that means you found the love of comedy again. Yeah. Because I lost it for a little while. Yeah. Why? You know. Because I was getting fucked over. Because all my friends was rich. Mm -hmm. and I'm the funniest broke nigga. Like, how the fuck do right. this? Right. <laughs> like, what the what fuck? What kind of sense does when this you, make? And then you watching these <laughs> right. dudes on Wild Out. And then they as, saying what I'm saying. Right. But, like, Cat or Kevin and one of them niggas that say, like, we'll be just talking regular. And then I'll see they special and I'll be like, damn. You got to stole my shit. Like, hell no. Like, I ain't going to be some money, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right, and when one, at one point when you was, like, over comedy and you saw Wild and Out you know, still progressing. Were you ever like, the fuck? I'm funnier than you, nigga. Like, who are <laughs> I, had, I hate to say this, but about, probably about two years ago, I bought this 83-inch TV, and we, I plugged it up and plugged the cable shit up, and the first thing that came on was, was wild fucking enough. wild enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tore that fucking TV down, kicked that motherfucker. No, oh, you you went the whole Aquarius. I was, I, I you was were... gone off that shit. Like, what the fuck? Why is this the first thing I right. see? Like, fuck that. And that's when I was like, fuck you, everybody. Like, I didn't care about nobody no more. Why like, you didn't look at it as, well, I don't know, in moments like that, you don't see it that way. But I feel like it's genius that you and your boys came up with that. And mm -hmm. it probably was a way of God let, reminding you how creative you are. And this is what I'm trying to remind you about. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew you then, because then I probably wouldn't have tore up that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. $10,000 right. TV. Because yeah, that, that I, I is something it. in you that's creative. Right, you, you're yeah. trying to get into making your own movies too, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So, I, got, I got a movie coming out next month. See, nice. look at that. So, you know, yeah, but it was it was just that I had to slow down and I was going too fast. I was doing drugs and oh, yeah, okay. he will slow you down. Shit. I mean, be he honest. Was, I was doing a lot yeah. of shit out here, man. Hollywood, like, half of these niggas, the lines niggas telling y'all, I made them shits up. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was really out here. So I didn't want to be like the guy we see all the time at the stores holding the same sign. Like I felt like I was gonna be that eventually mm -hmm. because and that could be that very shit depressing. had fucked me up like the, it had took me the Hollywood yeah. just took me yeah. it could be very depressing watching everybody right. around you succeed I mean yeah. cause money is a language no and doubt. if you know what I'm saying and you sitting here watching everybody talk they shit right. and you over here mute right. knowing yeah. that you have so much Talent. to say exactly. and so much to give yeah. to but, say but it. you know what was even more crazier that I, we was all had money. It's just that they was working and I was watching them work. Yeah. Right? But they would pay me to like, no, nah, we don't want you in this. But here, here goes some money. What? Right. Nigga, I want to go all the time the too. Right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Like, nah, cat would be like, um, I can't take you, but here's some money. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know. He's different though, don't you think? Yeah. Cat yeah. is my, that, out of all the people in Hollywood, cat is like my, that's the, I wouldn't say he's my best friend, but if I was broke right now, I would call Kat. 
You know what? Mm. Cat is my favorite comedian. That's my nigga. Right I now. love him. I love and, him. And and only because I like people to keep it real with this He's shit. Different. You know, I don't like the same recycled type of jokes. You want right. to talk about your mama? You want to talk about your childhood, your uncle? You know, we all hear that just from different aspects. Exactly. But he will. He drops knowledge if you really are listening. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell so that yeah. I feel like um, the ones that's out there right now is one of my. He's the top of the yeah. line. Cat is I, very I, smart. I can never dismiss Martin, but I love Martin. I, I love, That's baby, why I do baby. comedy because of Martin. Right, when I was Martin. Little, Martin I was watching Martin. Right. And I was thinking, I, I want to do that. Right, yeah. you can't dismiss yeah. Martin. I get tired yeah. of people when they talk about these numbers. Who cares about the numbers? Let's talk yeah. about the hearts you touched. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? The lips you yeah. had cackling. Yeah, none <laughs> of the, none of, uh, no Stomach's comedian in my hurting. generation would have been a comedian if it wasn't. If for it wasn't, oh, yeah. right? Talk yeah. your stuff. Yeah. That's really. what I'm saying because people act like they can't give homage to that. You know, Martin is the king. Like. To me, he like Mar he like Eddie Murphy. To me, right he, of a he, generation. Yeah, he don't, exactly. he don't get that, but you know, right I think he because is. around his time, I don't think we had the whole numbers game and the social media the way exactly. you know. So people try to dumb you down, but at the end of the day. That, that is, is the Martin fact Lawrence. that it would not no be doubt. what it is today if no Martin doubt. didn't bring his Enas and Hinas and Genas. So yeah. let's just keep you. it real. I talk to Carl Payne all the time, uh, Cole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll just still be like, nigga, do you understand what show you was on? Right, right. right. I I I and he's an Aries too. Shout I out to Martin, it. Aries, M. What up, Aries? What up, Martin? <laughs> so you love all the Aries. It's coming out. Oh, yeah, it's fuck, coming I out. I just told you we're compatible. So is there. you can Swim, we you could deal with us because okay. we walk. <laughs> no, we right. just let y'all do y'all thing because y'all just y'all just exactly all on the water. The right. Exactly. So you're back on the show. Right. We know that you took a, a turn and you lost six, your passion for it. Six years I took off. So what was the turnaround for you? Um I told my daughter to uh like don't ask me for nothing if, if she can't spell it. And when I started seeing her trying to spell it, damn, I was like I need a job. Yeah. Because I got to stop buying her shit. Because <laughs> yeah, she on her shit. Because she on her she, shit. She writing my, stuff out. My Ferrari. Two -year -old is a 25 year old. My two year old, she is. No. That's her favorite. No, nigga. No. Come here. No. Like, so anything she wants, I got to give it to her. So I had to start humbling myself. Then I got a wife now. So it's like, right. you know. Did the well, sex change with a wife from a friend? Mm. I think I said that one time, like, oh, you're giving me some Miss Hayes pussy. Damn. I think That's I said that before. Okay. Okay. I think I said that before. That's you know what what good, because I always hear the opposite. They always yeah. say that when you get married, you kind of, the wife dumb it down a little no, bit, but I'm you're saying why, she though, stepped it up a little. Because I'm married. I understand now. Because mm -hmm. y'all be mad at us. What? So it don't be about no pussy when you mad. It don't be about pussy because today is Wednesday. How many times do you expect sex in a week? Every day. Yes. At least once. I got a dick. What does that go mean? go down. Okay. Listen, when you turn about the same age as the speed limit, your dick start having problems. Mm. <sighs> so a man, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm 40, so I'm looking at 40 as close to 60. I'm trying to fuck something. Cause it, yes. Because I'm older. Because you're like, time is ticking. Well, yeah, baby, I'm you not are 25 not close no more. to 60. Okay, no. slow not, down. Now, when I was 25, I didn't think about girls as much. I thought about getting money so I could have girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because just having girls, you lose them. If you don't got the money. Yeah. Hello. I, can't, I can get your number. Hello. But if I can't take you to eat, how many times are you going to ask Hello. my phone? Yeah. I, have, I just had that conversation. Yeah. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't. I don't know no woman that's one of broke dudes. No, no. I mean, it's hard to be a man because you can't be broke mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have what you want. You can't have big dreams and, and broke. You can't, it, it won't happen. Mm -hmm. That's what make you a killer, a fucking bank robber because mm -hmm. you got to have it. Now, I know in Hollywood, men are usually, for some reason, they don't want the African booty scratchers. You know, they want the... <laughs> no. They want the other but, color, you know? Mm -hmm. So, what... Were you like that? Did you fall into that category? You wanted the carlitas? Like, well, I'm going to be honest. Thighs. Now, you got, no, let me say this. I'm going to talk slow. Okay, okay. I'm listening. So, you know, I, I know where I'm at. I know where okay. I'm at right now. Let's drink. So, okay, so because I'm Latino, I always kind of like Latino women. I won't say more, but I, I did, sort of. But black girls got asses. 
So I'm caught in the middle. Well, today so the Latinos, they, they got everybody got hella ass. ass. What's your mama look ass. like? But I'm old, but I'm older now, so I don't she care. She look about Latina that. too. Yeah, my mother look like my mother ass is probably that big. What as big, big as this white? Oh thing shit! Like. Oh shit! I was like, <laughs> so, so you know what I'm talking about? So, I remember, I remember, I brought a girl home, okay. and my mama seen her ass, and she's like, "He ain't gonna like this." Oh shit! And she said, "You see all his ass? He been staring at his oh, whole yeah. life. He ain't gonna like oh, this." Because that's usually like how it go. Yeah. Men go after what they're what they've used to seeing right. their mothers. Oh yeah. Right. Are your mom's black? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my mom's black. Okay. My dad's cute. Yeah. Yeah. That, that only made me double the nigga. Well, that's what yeah. to me you went after more Latin women versus black. Well, I think it's not, a Hollywood thing. But let me say this: only at the time frame, it, it, it's a it's kind of like who's available. Okay. And I hate to say it like that, mm -hmm. but if I'm somewhere where ain't no Mexican girls, fuck them. Mm -hmm. Not fuck them, but you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So it's just about who's around. So I guess I didn't have a type at first. Okay. Like, as long as you got ass and. I like what I cool. see. Yeah. Let's go. But Can talk again, in front of other motherfuckers. I just find that when a oh, man yeah, get on, even this comedian, uh, the, the W person. Who? Um, cool. The white person? That just cheated on his black wife. Oh, like, okay. we don't get oh, no oh, breaks. Oh, oh, oh. Gary, Gary Owens. Gary. Gary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's so like, we don't Gary. get no <laughs> breaks. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Yeah, even right. when you when you grab the, the, the other side, as soon as he gets to a level, you're not good enough. You know what I'm saying? So I find that, like, Darker skinned women get treated like you belong in in, in LA down there with them. Uh, and this I would say group. That. I would say darker skinned black women are dope as fuck. But I will say it's only certain type of men at this day and age hmm. that really goes for that. Like they gotta be super black they sell. You gotta ah! you gotta remember <laughs> a lot of people now, they ain't all black no more. Black and uh, Puerto Ricans, black and oh, Chinese. Oh, you mean just fully black. black. And, right, that's okay, what I'm saying. Okay. Like, <laughs> so, so if a person ain't fully black, he yeah. ain't going to be looking at no black no, I don't understand this because for me, this is for me. When I walk into a room, okay, baby? Mm -hmm. No other woman in that room can dominate what I can give I hear you. in my heart. Because you're Aquarius. So you can put me next to any race, exactly. and they're going to look at me. Right, but I'm, I'm saying this. Personally, I don't think it's race. I think it's just about the person. who fits the puzzle. Like but if you fit this puzzle better, and then and then too, and this is recent. I'll mm -hmm. say the last ten years, maybe fifteen years, people start dating other races to learn their race. Okay. Too. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like I, I got a Chinese, like not me. I'm saying the guy would say I got a Chinese girlfriend. What's that like? Like, it's just like a conversation. So it has nothing to do with every time a man gets to a certain prestige, they especially have, in Hollywood, yeah. they move that darker-skinned woman out and put somebody else in. Because it's more acceptable. Now, right. now, I could say, y'all, you probably own something, mm -hmm. but I would say this, too. In Hollywood, dudes don't get to pick who they want to be with. Mm -hmm. Your agent... Okay, so we it's all got look. agents, right. right? I feel like I've we heard all got about the agent, that. same agent, right? What is that called? It's uh, a relationship when it's a job when you're in relationships. Exactly. Yeah. So I might be in trouble, woman trouble, but we got all got the same agent. So now we go out and make sure that they show us going out yeah. and make sure that they see me with a black woman and all that. So to me, that's all set up. That's what they saying, Lori Harvey and um, so they try really? to press this image that dark exactly. is not good enough. In other words, I, well, I disagree with that. But my wife is is Puerto Rican and, and Filipino. I'm half not, Puerto Rican. No, I'm not. Not, I got Puerto not because Rican. that's what I was choosing. <laughs> Again, when I first blue. seen her, I just fell in love with her. So, so I don't. I didn't know what she was. Mm -hmm. I just I just ask that question because a lot of men they always say like, oh my, to dark skinned women, you're so beautiful to be dark skinned. Yeah, or, you know, you're that? so pretty to be dark. Yeah, I know. And oh, they'll that's crazy. date right, and that's they don't crazy. date you. They'll fuck around with you. Right. But when it's time for the show. Mm -hmm. They mm. gonna have. They gonna have. Now, can Carlita. I say this? When I first moved to LA, one of my actor friends told me, "Look, you from Detroit? You shouldn't even fuck with no black girls. You should go after all the other races that you would probably never fuck ever in your because life." Because of where you're at now. Because you're in California, wow. and, that's and you can. Where yeah. You are. Wow. Wow. So I I'll say that. I that have to sucks. Add that. <clears throat> it do kind of suck, but yeah, yeah. So can you tell me one of your funniest lines? Uh. <laughs> One of, you know, I know you had one back <laughs> in the day that right. right. you know your favorite okay. one. Okay. 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 Not, okay. Okay. We better laugh. I used to say <laughs> all the time, like, 
like if I would do like a clean show, instead of saying I kick your ass or I'll fuck you up, I'd be like, bitch, I'll scratch your face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, that so, is. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? So that's funny. So as instead hell. of cussing, I'll be like, I'll scratch your face. And then so you know, it's, I don't know if that's the funniest one, but you know, it's stuck. That's mm-hmm. one of the ones I thought of first. So you write on yeah. the show, like okay, so I, I think you had said earlier that some of the lines that the people say on the show. Like you give them those lines. So yeah. do you write? It's yeah. not a whole freestyle or it's all freestyle with me. Okay. For it's you it's freestyle, yeah. but some of it is it scripted for the others or Well, yeah, because like like on Wild and Out they would they would okay, so what we would do is we would write out a show and then we would rehearse that show. And then as we rehearsing it, we'd be like, No, that's whack, that's stupid. Um, fuck that. Yeah. So what would you say right there? Okay, what would you say right there? Okay, now it's a whole different song Got after it. we all changed it. Mm-hmm. So and so then maybe if we have like a guest that don't really know the show or kind of shy about it, then we we'll, we would have like so many things to give them. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, well, you say this. Mm-hmm. Well, say this and you say this and say this. So if you know the show back in the day, if I was on the opposite side of Nick, it was because I was writing for the guest mm-hmm. star. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then if I was on the red team, it was because I would, like, and even back in the old ones, if you look, Nick would come up to me and I would wish for something and then he would go out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I, w- I would write for him first and then I had to write for, for everybody the else. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Not that he couldn't think of his own. Yeah. It's just that oh, I your would bag be was so big. on. That's just, yeah. He writing. Right. Yeah, yeah. Your bag was big. You yeah, need to you write for me. I, you I'm need to write a, something. I, what if I wanted to be a comedian? You could, you could write for me? I can give you. Amateur night. I'm telling you right now. You All you gotta us. do is think of five different topics that don't coincide with each other, hmm. coincide with each other. Okay. And that's how you do it. Okay. Fat I got girls, you. Gas prices, uh, uh, whatever. This, uh-huh. that, that. I had to give you a topic and you tell me something in my ear. So I can't. <laughs> Are you know that? That? <laughs> you can say <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have another question. Mm-hmm. You, we all know about your Tyrese beef. We know that. Okay. Right. Oh, <laughs> wait, first of, all, first of all, do you still have a beef with Tyrese? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think he still hate me a little bit. <laughs> Why? I seen him in you Vegas. You can't call him man like, gay and don't like, think hey, he going to hate you. I know, but if you act gay, but you, you know what? Gay shirts, why why you are you mad gay? mad if you're not gay? Right. <laughs> You hear what she said? Yeah. Listen, the first time I, mean, I ever saw that... if you call me a smoker, that, I'm not going to be mad. Exactly. Listen, when I first saw that video on Facebook, everybody... I was asleep. Everybody calling me, waking me. Dude, you know you on media takeout? You know you on... I was like, for what? It was that. So when I looked at it, I didn't know what he was going to say at first. So at first, I was kind of scared. Like, what, what is this nigga about to say? <laughs> And then at the end, I was he like, wait a crying. minute. He didn't even say nothing. <laughs> Stupid. So I had to watch it again. Like, wait a minute. That's... Okay. I like I'm, mad at, I'm mad at y'all yeah. comedians clowning him for crying. I I yeah. think that a man that can cry, especially to the public, is Mm-mm. a damn good. You know what I'm Mm-mm. saying? Nothing like a man that cried. Don't, why do you want to clown him? You don't man? want no man that cried. But if you come in, oh, I don't got the rent money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just don't got that shit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're going to be like, nigga, get your crying ass out of here. They're going to get hey, that up for money. I'm going to call your homeboy. <laughs> oh. You look like, I'm sorry. No, I look like what? <laughs> I look, you better a say it. Lady. Say it. A, a beautiful <laughs> black lady. Right. Angela Bassett, little sister. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, I can take Angela because she my she's Tina Turner baddie. queen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I learned all my Tina moves from her. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? But I, I, you know, I didn't. I didn't really know he was gonna react like that. I was just making Did a joke. Did you apologize? I mean, yeah, no. I guess. I guess I did, but if you're really mad about something, you don't care about motherfucking apologizing. No, you've been an Aquarius. Well, I don't care about motherfucking that's apologizing. <laughs> exactly. Me. If you made me mad already, nigga, mad. just let oh, me man. stop being mad. And, I think, I and then think he apologize. would take your apology if you did. Mm. He's I a mean, Capricorn. if you had to apologize oh, to him, nothing. and he, he was nothing. sitting right here, he, I was Tyrese, what would you say? I'm like, <laughs> you man, gay? you gay. <laughs> <laughs> you gay as fuck, bro. But I'm sorry for saying it out loud. And I'm sorry that you even reacted like that. Oh, shit. But I'm going to keep it real. After I seen that video, he looked at more gay than yeah. ever. Oh, gosh. Why he didn't just look manly? Why he just say, I ain't gay. I don't do shit like that. Fuck you, Smeggy. And, and go. Why he waste 13 minutes because you heard on his a video? Feelings. But why nobody around him ain't stop him and say, bro, that's not a good idea. Like, right. Don't do that. Do you know this guy? <laughs> you don't even know him. Right. Yeah. Com- you don't know what this nigga do. Yeah. But because he thought he was, you know, big Tyrese. man. Yeah, it's Tyrese. a lot of um, gay people that you run across in the industry that I'll, be coming off that they not gay. 
I would say 90% of the niggas in Hollywood is gay and I agree act with like they're not I don't gay. even know. Right. I just think that's just the lifestyle that, that they That's do. what I would say. Yeah. You know. You know. That's another. I'm probably. I mean, I'm probably not a billionaire. You, of like, course. What? Really? Hell yeah. Propositions. The do they be looking straight? Proposition. Here's some money, Spanky. Right. No. No. Here's some money. Here's some money. Damn. I, hey, I'll be, a, I'll be a, uh, a garbage man if that happened to me. I'd be like, fuck all this shit right. all together. I'm gonna be a garbage man. No, nobody's Goodbye. ever asked me to suck dick, dick but. <laughs> People have asked, can they suck my dick? No. Men, men, yeah. No. Like, you're so yummy, Spain. Yummy? Okay, I've never I mean, even heard but that But those before. are like gay men, though. This is not like straight men that's like <laughs> pretending. Trying to, okay. Yeah. Or so I look at it like, they all got masks. Everybody got masks on. Okay. So it depends mm -hmm. on what mask. If they got mm -hmm. their mask off, they gonna talk different. They got their mask on, they gonna talk more confident. Just like, just like uh, social media. Like, people say shit now that they could never say 10, Absolutely. 12 years ago. Oh, yeah. Because now you're not going to see me. Yeah. You ain't going, what's the odds of me standing right next to you? Right. It's a, it's a big so eye. they could say, girl, you got a fat ass. Let me, da, 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 da. Yeah. No, but they can't say that in front of you. Right. right. They don't even have the heart to do that. Right. So that's why, I, you know, I don't know, man. I, I just see it as false. Uh, what's the word for that? Yeah, I just said Con confidence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I forgot a word, so I'll get there. <laughs> Uh -oh. So, did you have any other beefs outside of him that we don't know about, like real beefs? Yeah, I beat up Lil Duval before. Lil Duval? Yeah, he's a bitch, too. What you, uh, what you mean you beat him up? I, I beat up Mike like, Epps about eight times. Uh, wait, what I'm does real beat up thug. look I'm real, like? Real, real thug. Gang, gang. What, what does he, what beat here. up look like? Right. Like, uh, did he come over and be like, all right, bloody nose, like, or you just pushed him and he ran off? No, I give him socks. Like, Lil Duval. Yeah, socks I gave him face. socks. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Mike Epps would fight right now. If he came right in this door right now, I would it's get up right now and beat the fuck out of him. Oh, you don't like him. I, know. We, we had, I can't see okay, Mike Okay, so fighting. when Mike Epps first started, I he talked him into nice. moving to L.A. He was my New York comedy buddy. Okay. I talked him into moving so to L.A. So y'all used to be friends. He used to sleep on my couch. He slept on my couch one time. This is no lie. I'll die right now. He had All About the Benjamin script. He had the Next Friday script, and it was another movie. I can't remember the, uh, that one. But he had three scripts in my living room, and he was sleeping on my couch. Three. So, you know, after he got on, I was supposed to be in Friday, the other Friday. So this, this is, that's crazy. I've never said this out loud before. So Exclusive. So you remember when Michael Rappaport was at the door, he knocked on the door and said, yeah, you evicted. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. So that was my role. But Mike said, I guess he was fucking up in practice or whatever. And I came in all high and shit on one. And he was like, look, he told Cube, look, man, don't, don't put him in it, man. Just, just let me just be in it. That's my boy, but no, don't let me shine. So once I found out that he oh, did that, shit. I just started socking him in the mouth every time I, I see him. Fuck you with. How the hell do you find that out? This industry, it, come on, Hollywood talk. is this it's small. Really it's fingernail, uh, fingernail small. And did you approach him with it before you socked him? <laughs> no, he stayed away from me because he knew that I knew. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because Hollywood is too small. You yeah. can't keep a secret in Hollywood. I couldn't date both of y'all. Even if you lived on the west side, you lived, I couldn't. Hollywood too small. If y'all both party on Sunset or Hollywood Boulevard, y'all gonna catch me. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. So it's too small out here for that. Mm -hmm. You know what wow. I'm saying? So, that's yeah. The, you know, but that's, that's old beef. You know, if I seen him now, I'd probably try to shake his hand, but. So you wouldn't tell him the same thing you would tell Tyrese if he was sitting in your face? No, I don't think Mike Epps gay at all. I don't think he gay at all. I just think we just have a problem. He ba he, he backstabbed backstab, me. Yeah. So I just have a personal thing about I, Mike Epps is talented as fuck. I yeah, think he's like funny him. as hell. Mm -hmm. All of that. But he just backstabbed me before. Yeah. So I just feel a certain way about him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you sh you've shaken that. I, I don't know. If I seen him, he smirked at me, though. It's on. Oh, so, you, so obviously what the friendship wrong? ended. I mean, long time ago. We yeah. haven't been friends a long time. Damn. So, that really but hurt uh, you. when I see him, I, you know, I speak. I try to speak to him, but if it just depends. Like, I mean, one time I seen him in Vegas. I was like, "What we on today?" And he was like, "I ain't on. I ain't on that." All right. So, Peace. Lil Duval. What? Why? Why? Because he was internet banging and talking shit all on the internet, and then we ended up in this movie together uh, called School Dance, 
and uh, and, and and it really wasn't him at first. I was smoking weed in my trailer. They kicked yeah. me out of my trailer, but I didn't know that till I went back to work the next day and I opened the door and this motherfucker's in my trailer. <laughs> oh, shit. So I'm like, hell no, get your ass out here. Right. Let's, let's get it. We ain't on the internet no more, nigga. Let's go. So you know, That's crazy. he's hired bodyguards. Uh, because I'm around, little Duval. Because you sucked him out. Because he's a bitch. He's, he's got Why would, you would pay That's another not nigga? That's not him. That's that, that Aquarius, Aquarius too. Yeah, oh, you would God, pay God, another God, nigga? God, Look, I'd rather yeah. get beat up than pay you $500, 600 to right, watch to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather just get beat up. Keep my little money. And buy me some gym shoes. to sue you? Be fresh. Well, I don't know. In, in the comedian <laughs> world, we don't sue each other like right. that. We just kind of We just kind of go. Yeah. With, with the take, flow. Take that ass you know. whipping. Keep it going. Yeah, just keep, I mean, take I can ass appreciate whipping. that. Like, yeah. you know, you took that ass whipping. Yeah, yeah take your ass whipping. Don't take talk shit if you can't take what comes with it. Exactly. You take know it. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well. So now that you have the love of comedy back and you're back on Wild and Out, like, what are you expecting for us to see? Oh, uh, well, I got, oh, man. I don't know what all to talk about first. Uh, well, okay, let's say this. I'm in negotiation right now to play Run for Run DMC that when he gets older, not the young. Yeah. Well, I can't, I'm not losing that much. I kind of can see that. Yeah. Like when he first became a reverend. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm going to be in those ages. But uh, so if I get to play Run DMC, uh, Run for Run DMC, I think that would be like some shit that That'd I could so never cool. only dream about. Man. You know what I mean? So I grew up with Run DMC. They was older. They was kind of playing out a little bit when I was coming up, but I know the history, I know what they did for hip hop and all that, so that'll be an honor. And, um, and, and we brought up Martin Lawrence earlier, uh, I got a movie coming out, well, it, we haven't shot it yet, but we are supposed to start that in like August, I think. Uh, yeah, so I play his partner, we playing cops. They always make Martin Lawrence play a cop. Right. <laughs> so we cops again, and but I'm, I don't know I'm I a bad like cop. As much as I love Martin, I don't, I don't want him to play a cop no more. I don't right. see, he too thick to run. Right. Like, I just. So, so, <laughs> right. So now he's the order cop and I'm the younger the cop. Oh, so okay. he's, he's not going to run. No, he ain't okay, the runner. Good. He the boss. Like behind the, the right. desk. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. No, more like uh, yeah. uh, my day. nigga. Right. Mm -hmm. More like training. Oh, yeah. Day. More like training. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I think yeah. that'll be dope. It's going to be good because yeah. yeah. you kind of give off a younger Martin Lawrence. I love Martin. Yeah, that was my, yeah, that's my man. That I energy. love Martin Lawrence. Just goofy. Yeah, yeah. the energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What um what was the craziest thing that you saw in Wild and Out that made you want to return? Like you know, right now DC Young Fly and um, Conceited. You know, yeah. which I love Conceited. Which is Conceited, dope. my man. That's my man. Like I, I fuck with Conceited. I don't like a lot of the new. Yeah, like Lil JJ, when he was young, he, yeah, was, he was funny. funny. And then now, on Wild and I'm like, no. what, what's going on? Lil JJ, that's my man. I like him too, but he's just so he's cool now. Nice. When he was young, because I think listen, I just liked him. Look, Lil JJ when went through a lot of shit <laughs> Did to, he? to be where he at right now. Okay. And uh, I, know, I know him very well, man. That's my boy. Like, I call him like once a month. Like, he went through a lot of, you know, it's hard to be so a little young. JJ, mm -hmm. a, little, a little anybody in, in Hollywood because... You got to give yourself seven years to like reinvent yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow! And those seven years are yeah, mother. that's what I'm yeah, trying to ask you. How do you blend? Because yeah. you were the original. Right. How do you blend with the, the new cast? Because it's, it's, so it's all my shit. Because it's all my shit. It's still your turn. It's my shit. Talk your shit. <laughs> so it's like, nigga, what the fuck you mean? I don't, I don't match in, nigga. That's my shit. Right. But, you so, taking on mine, so you gonna original, have a, your wild and out red or gold? What is yeah. it? You gonna have it? Yeah, we on the. I think it's. Silver and gold this time. Uh, platinum and gold mm -hmm. this time. Okay. So, no, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, no, so, I yeah. think that's dope. And if I was just your, your three friends on the sideline, I'd still be looking at you like, nigga. <laughs> we, they are. Give me an opportunity hey, they, again. They are. Yeah. Trust me. They still there with me. You know what I'm saying? You know. But only one could get picked. You know what I'm saying? Like, this in, in this game, especially in comedy, man, I'm going to break something down to y'all. Y'all going to be like, yeah, you're right. Like, it's only one person, like, for black people. It's hard to be a black entertainer. So so let's go back about 10 years ago. It was Mike Epps, mm -hmm. right? So after Mike Epps, it was who? Kevin Hart, but but Little. That was the Little. That was the soul playing Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. They couldn't sell him. Mm -hmm. They took it from Kevin and gave it to Cat. Mm -hmm. Right? You following me? Mm -hmm. Cat went crazy. Mm -hmm. They took it back from Cat and, and gave it back to Kevin. Cat mm -hmm. didn't go crazy. 
But they do you understand what I'm saying? Like they they tried to play him like he went crazy. They tried to play him because he was on some right. real shit. And then right. they tried to hate. And then they gave us little Mickey Mouse. And then they took it from Cat. Gave it right back to Kevin. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying all that to say it's only one spot. Right. Yeah. So at a time. At a time. That's true. You know what I'm but saying? But you guys, it seemed like y'all got that understanding. And that's why well, you guys are still cool. Yeah. Well, I was there to, like, everybody don't get to see that. They just hear it. Like, mm-hmm. it's like a myth. But I watched it right in front of me because it's all happening right in front of me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's how that go. I'm cool. I don't yeah. think I want that. Mm. I don't know. Everybody start looking suspect, like they might suck a dick. I don't know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they might. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do what I do it. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. yeah the chill. fuck is this? Yeah. Like, everybody start changing. Kevin start talking all fast. And cat, nah, nah. I'm like, what the? What is this? <laughs> like, nah. Going to I'm a whole cool. nother level. I, I think I'm cool. Well, you I have. I feel like there's not enough time in a day to talk to you. You have been, you have right. been such a pleasure. Like yeah, I would just you. like it's over already. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. gotta come to yours. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, gotta yeah. come Def- back to come ours. Yeah. Like, definitely come to mine. You definitely. don't get too big and forget Never. about no, us. You right. gotta yeah. come Never. back. Never. Invite us. You know out. what I'm saying? It's room for one, but all three of us is one. Hey, we all friends. Yeah. We come in one. Yes. Yes. We all friends. We besties now. Yes, we are. Crazy See, I can call you that. <laughs> You're connected to each one of our signs. There we go. So special you, way. So I know, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Re- that is crazy, yep, huh? Yep, yeah. Divine yep, intervention. My best friends are Aries. Yes. My wife is a Leo, and I'm a Aquarius. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we crazy. all together, okay? Yep, so that's it how will... I know how to deal with y'all crazy moments. <laughs> and that's how we, we know how to deal bad. with I, you. We no, too no, bad, no, huh? No, we, no, we were good. We I were thought y'all was going to go crazier. I was. I that's wanted why I was to like go. Too. Like, I said, hold on. I said, I wanted to go crazier, and I wanted to go deeper. Okay, just have one last deep ass question. Hmm. I promise I won't take all that answer. Oh shit! No, oh, damn, like, want to spot. Huh? <laughs> shit. Or no, it's okay. okay. What was the best celebrity that you hit? Mm. Boom! Aquarius gang. Wow. gang. <laughs> Wow! And don't lie. Wow! Okay, well, don't ask no questions. Right. Okay, don't ask so no I, questions. I will not say their name. Okay, tell because, the experience. Well, we need to know what they I look will, like. I will, I will say, I will give descriptions. Okay. Okay. One was on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Ooh. And I think I think after, I know that one. But, but it was after. Okay, I'm only saying Fresh Prince of Bel Air. She was younger then, okay. so okay. that wasn't when I dealt with her. It was okay. after. She okay. So she was already a legend. So, you know. Okay. I think I know. So I think you like. No, I don't know no names. I don't know no names. I just think yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So that And was, another one was on the Cosby Show. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay. And the other. Oh, <laughs> shit. Keep going. Yeah, you Talk your it. shit. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Talk your Okay. The other, the other one is. Uh, Give us MG. one more. MG. I'll just say the initials. M. And now all of them, who was the best? Oh. Uh, he can't name. One did it from the back, one did it from the front. Like he didn't I know, know you he can't output see the next girl that I was gonna say that fresh prince one was. But what is that? I don't know, you know MG why, sounds good. You know why I'm gonna say that? Because she was a Muslim girl and she knew how to take care of it. Stroke a man. Mm-hmm. And she was I don't know why I just was feeling it. Yeah. But yeah, she knew how and to stroke. I, if I say this, then I will be giving away, so I can't say. Don't even else. say nothing but else, but we because we got it. Right, I just I just gave you the clue. Yeah, no, don't listen to her. I don't know what that's what we here for. Well, we got no, don't talk about, don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we trying to get it. Yeah, I've I've been with a couple celebrities, but yeah. uh, I didn't like none of them though, hmm. because they were all like shallow. They did they were like I don't know. I had this big ass crush on. Uh, uh, Kim Kardashian, your older sister, uh, Courtney. 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 Mm-hmm. So I meet her, and then I was like, "This bitch is ugh." <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of made me wish that I didn't even meet her. That yeah. I still <laughs> and looked at her. Right. 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 No. I don't have the black boyfriend anyway. She like a giraffe height. No, that's no the short. Oh, okay. But yeah. So you know. I just w- went after her because who can have Kim Kardashian unless you super ass rich? Ray J. 
<laughs> that was just a fuck. <laughs> it was a good one. <laughs> but I, 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 That's what listen, you want to do, right? And, and how about this? I was di- listen. My first job was Moesha. My first extra doing extra work or anything was Moesha. So I got to meet Kobe Bryant as soon as he came to L.A. Because mm-hmm. remember, he was dating my mm-hmm. friend. Brandon. Right. Mm-hmm. And was he dating her or was that? That seemed just like a prom a, thing. It was fucking. They had yeah, the that's agents. what it seemed like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. That's the same <laughs> right. And then, and then um, what was he just saying? Oh, Ray J. Um, Kim Kardashian used to be the wardrobe girl. On, yeah, on she Marisha. has. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's how Ray J and Kim Kardashian even Man. got together. Mm-hmm. Well, thank God for people who need clothes right. because um, she wouldn't be who she is today if it wasn't for that. Because mm-hmm. let me tell you, Ray J, he put on a whole performance. He said his own and popping. Ray J is a legend. The chickens is I watching. Fuck with, I fuck with <laughs> I'm going to keep it real, Ray J. No homo. I started fucking girls like that after I saw <laughs> seeing that video. Oh, I, started, I did all Ray those J, moves I before. All those moves. I did all those moves. Lib- no, she's a Libra. I am yeah. Team Ray J. Like he knocked that legend. down. He knocked. He he did that. He hey, taught you know some lessons. You know what? I started lessons. loving Ray J. That nigga started dating Whitney Houston after Bobby Brown. He yeah, sure that, did. That, that to her. me was yeah. that was that's some bullshit. If you yeah. ask me, really? To me, that's how the does a man? Bitch okay. In the world. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Whitney Houston. That's awkward. That's awkward. I mean, she did She probably wasn't all that attractive as most. Some people would say, mm-hmm. but you still cracked uh, Whitney. I get right. it. I she get what you're saying. She was a for like thirty years. Yeah, that's boss. That's and she probably boss. was a lot of fun too. I bet you. Yeah. Right, she could buy anything. Hey, what, you want some heroin? <laughs> Go get that shit. You want a Versace? What? Go get that shit. Team Ray Come J. Come on, that gotta be beautiful. I, I don't care what nobody said about him. Team Ray J, whether he is, um, people say he's, cor- somebody asked me who's corny or Nick Cannon or Ray J, and I'm like, hands down, Nick Cannon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, Ray J's not corny. He's just uh, misunderstood. I Nick Cannon be getting some fly <laughs> girls, too, but I don't hey. understand it. Hey, he's brand new, bro. I like, I, I like yeah. Nick, too. That, but listen, I'm glad I just said that. That's why we like Ray J, because he went from Brandy's brother yes, to, to Ray, Ray J. J. Ray J. Yeah. Most people don't get to do that. Yeah. No, they don't. Yeah, yeah. They mostly just stuck in, you know, the first the way shadow. you meet them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. For real. Yeah. Well, I hope um, you come back and um I'm about to spend a night. Yeah. yeah, spend a night with us. Okay. No. <laughs> so we got a whole lot of conversation. We Let's can just go. sit up under <laughs> you and just you just downloaded. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was such a pleasure. Yes, thank you. So I have to promise you'll you. come back. I will. You will. We'll Definitely. come to you. Yes, we'll come we gotta to you. We got to go wild out and watch him do his thing. Oh, yeah. Are oh. you going to get it? Can we get tickets? Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the next uh, season we film, and I think it's in October, and it's in L.A. Okay. okay. We're coming back to L.A. So. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the reasons why I wanted out. to come back, because I didn't want to be in Atlanta. Oh, perfect. You know, every third guy in Atlanta is a I just wanted to throw it. I was like, I just had to throw it out there. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. Allegedly. Allegedly, they are. But <laughs> allegedly. I, I think Everything they is were alleg- gay gym shoes. <laughs> allegedly. They were gay gym shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> All right. Well, you've um, heard it from Spanky. Yes. Spanky. Out of the mouth of Spanky Hayes. Yes. He, check him out on um, the new season of Wild and Out. Mm-hmm. Um, we're a fan now, like total. Yes. I got I got a movie called uh, Finesse Two that's coming out. Uh, Gucci and Jeezy, oh, nice. uh, Zaytoven, uh, Al New, uh, I forget her name. Tokyo. Okay. Uh, oh, damn, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> but you did it. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shout out to Tokyo. Shout out to Tokyo. I'm sorry. Tokyo I was just trying to describe you, baby. I was just trying to describe you. That's it. And you did a damn good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Keisha Cole's in it. Nice. Uh, so yes, yeah, you know, yeah. Good. And I got right. another movie coming up too. I just uh, but forgot I mean, to be working, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to work. I came out of retirement with, like, with my ass on fire. Yeah. Thank God yeah. for your right. two year old. Come through, yeah, two year old. Yes. Yes. Man, I and the mouths of babes. Now. Yes, okay. right. I had to do it for the kids. I can't do it for myself now because I can't. I wouldn't be able to do That's this for me. I only could do it for them. They motivate me. Yeah. Well, thank you, boo. Yes, thank, thank you. you. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, for, real. for sure. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>